Well, <clears throat> I finally got back out here. Got this disc hooked up. And the object, first thing to do now is break this nut loose on this axle. And I know the last time this thing was loose was about 15 years ago when I replaced the bearings on these axles. So I'm knocking off some of this dirt here so that I can spray this thing with fine product. You probably already know all about that, that uh, PB blaster. That's about the best thing I've ever had for getting nuts and bolts to They've got a little rust on them to come loose, so let's give this a spray here. There. Let that soak a little while. Now, I've got these others over here I want to spray too. Let's see. This one down here that I want to get a hold of. Yeah, right in there. That one looks like it's probably better if I get around this way. It don't take a whole lot of this stuff. You just put a little bit on there and let it penetrate. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna go get a drink of coffee and uh, let that soak. Of course, I got to hit the one on the inside, but I don't think I can get the camera in there, so we'll stop recording. Well, I had this really cool daydream at work today about how I was gonna get my largest socket out of my one inch drive set and put my uh, pneumatic impact wrench on it and uh, get that uh, nut off of there but eh, my largest socket was too small so I'm gonna get over there and start bouncing on that pipe I got stretched out on that uh, thumb wrench and see what happens whoa that was fun Success. Yes. All right. Nothing like a good long pipe. Get the wrench on there right. Yeah. There you go. All right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Make a little noise there. Well, I wish I'd have had a socket that fit it. I would have enjoyed using that impact wrench. But I think the sockets are gonna fit these uh, bolts that actually hold this axle onto this disc. Ooh, that got me a little winded there. But she's loose now. Well. It was a nice daydream, but we got it broke loose. That trick right there, a bungee cord and a pipe wrench onto that axle. Let's see if I can give you a little better view how that works down there. But uh, that's how I did it 15 years ago by myself. And 
that's got it loose. Now, the next bolts to break loose are these right down here. I don't know every, I can't tell what you can see on this camera display. I never know what I get until I get back to the computer. But uh, we'll get the impact wrench and try that. Got to charge up the air compressor. All right. Okay, I bought this uh, impact wrench and I was a little disappointed that I didn't have a big enough socket to uh, get that axle bolt, so we had to break that off manually. But uh, I'm going to go over here and find out. I sprayed these uh, nuts and bolts uh, about 30 minutes ago. So let's go see what this thing's going to do. I got it set on 230 foot pounds of torque with 100 PSI behind it. It worked. <laughs> well, there's a lot of excitement. I remember last time I did this, I had to put a uh, ratchet down there on that and get down on the ground and go at it. Well, before I go any further, I need to get this disc on the ground. So let me get the hydraulics hooked up to the tractor so I can raise it and unpin it and lower it and set it down. Oh, this is going to be sweet. I'll have this thing off here real quick. Nothing like a good tool. I think a tool, a good tool is nothing more than an investment. 